At this past Monday's meeting, the planning board received an update on the downtown corridor project. So conducted um, safety analysis of, uh, the, of key intersections along uh, the corridor. You know, there's about 17,000 vehicles a day that are on Main Street. Um, bicycle accommodation uh, within the car, there are a couple different options. On road, we, you know, in the lane, separated bike lanes, and then a two-way separated bike lane. I'm gonna go over those in, in one minute. Pedestrian amenities, ADA ramps are, uh, you know, a little bit um, are not prevalent right now along Main Street, and then with new sidewalks going through there, we'll have new, all new ADA ramps throughout the project limits and all the side streets, and uh, you know, through driveways that are, as necessary. Um, parking, you know, we're working with the town and the Chamber of Commerce on parking. We know there's been some impact. We're looking to, you know, mitigate and, uh, and get new off-street parking that'll mitigate some of the stuff on, you know, directly on Main Street. And then the major intersections, obviously, Wood Street, Cedar and Grove, and Marathon Way, or Hayden Road and Marathon Way, and Ash Street are the, you know, kind of the major traffic contributors um, in areas that needed to have upgrades for safety. One of the big topics of discussion was the placement of the bike lanes. These single separated bike lanes run from Cedar to Hayden Row. So that's bike lanes on each side in following the traffic direction. And then the, the separated two-way bike lane is really from Wood Street to Cedar Street. That's where there's bike lanes on one side going in both directions. The whole length. From, from Cedar to Wood Street. Yep, okay. On both sides. One side. No, one one, side. from Cedar to, from Wood to Cedar, there's two lane, two bikes on one side, separated from traffic. Right. And then from Cedar to Hayden Row, it's one bike lane on each side following the direction of traffic. Right. Is there a cross area for that? At the, inter at the intersection. Okay. Can I ask? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over that in a moment. Yep. Okay, so from Cedar to Wood Street, where it's a two, two way bike lane, are, is there no, are there no parked cars on that side? Or? Um, so all the parking, the car, parking for cars is all the other side, and the bike lane is one side. Okay. Yes. Um, as as part of improving our traffic operations, first I just wanted to go over. This is the Wood Street intersection. Signalized now. Uh, there's only really a one lane approach. As you know, so any vehicle that wants to make a left turn into Wood Street kind of queues up the traffic on Main Street that wants to go through. So we've done a little bit of widening on the corner. We've teed up Wood Street as best we can, and then the stop bar has been moved a little bit further back. Because any vehicles making this right turn, you know, the, the stop bar, if someone was in the stop bar closer to the intersection, there's going to be a conflict. Mm -hmm. So we've moved that back. We've tried to tee this up a little bit. We've taken a little out of this nose and then moved the stop bar back so we can improve operations here. With this two lane here, or like a left turn lane and a through lane, when someone is in this left turn lane to make the turn into Wood Street, it's not going to impede the through movement on Main Street, which is a major congestion point existing now. So how many cars can queue up to turn left without blocking? Uh, that's going to be about five or six cars going to be able to queue up there. Okay. That's good. And in the, um, would be the uh, southwest direction, we've uh, you have a, a right turn lane to go onto Wood Street and a through lane, and we have a bike lane in between those two lanes. New industry standard is, you know, the bikes are supposed to be in either in the travel lane or, or adjacent to the, the traveling lane. So we can't really have them separated at the curb line, although, it, you know, predominant, you know, I guess uh, rule of thumb has been, you know, you, with bikes generally it's been stay far right. Um, but when you introduce a right turn lane like that, you create a conflict with the bike in that right turn lane. Because we want to run this with a right turn arrow, an overlap, because there's a significant right turn movement there. And if you have bikes that want to be going straight, now you've created a conflict in this area. So industry standard has changed such that the bike lane is adjacent to the through movement of traffic if it's going, obviously, through following the course of traffic. So as you're, as you're approaching, um, the, the intersection. Uh, intersection we have we have a separated bike lane on this side yeah. comes up to the intersection and it crosses over and any bikes that are in this this stretch would be in the lane in between the right turn lane and the through lane on main street that's and the way it's, it's laid out